3.8 says if two lines, just to kind of recap, if two lines are parallel to the same line, right, and we'll call that line T, then they are parallel to each other. Okay, so that's the first one we did, right? So let me, let me, I'm going to start by talking about the theorem. So write this down. Now, I don't expect you to memorize the theorems, right? 3 dash 8, okay? But it says if A is parallel to B and B is parallel to C, okay? And let me just draw this out. Oops. So if this is A, this is B, and this is C. Now, if A is parallel to B, and B is parallel to C, um, what can I say next? Then, A is parallel to C. A is parallel to C. Now what property will we use? Transitive. Transitive property, right? Cut off the middleman, substitution, whatever you want to call it, right? Well, hey, that was pretty easy. Although, I, it, and you got to assume that, you know, uh, obviously Mr. Adams is drawing this by hand, so just pretend in your mind that those lines are perfectly parallel. Yes? Um, oh, wait. Sorry, I was going to ask, like, for the arrow, for the parallel arrows. Yeah. I was going to ask if you would have to do, like, the two of the arrows, but then I kind of... Well, yeah, you could. So the way this is set up, right, is they're really saying that A is parallel to B. We know that. And B, and B, B is parallel to C. And then that allows us to say that A is parallel to C. Yeah. yeah. So just like our hash marks, you know, like if I have one hash mark, wherever there's one hash mark, those things are congruent. Uh, if I have two hash marks, the things that have two hash marks are congruent, If uh, so on and so forth. Same with the arrows, right? If I have a single pair of arrows, that means that those two lines are, are parallel. If I have two of them, in other words, by me having two two lines, one, two on B and one, two on C, I'm basically saying that B is parallel to C. And by me having one here and one here, I'm basically saying A is parallel to B. And then if I would have done this properly, what I would have done is I would have drawn it like this and then said, then A is parallel to C and then drew the line in there. Just Mr. Adams got all gung-ho. I got excited. All right, let's do theorem number three nine, shall we?